Hello everyone and welcome for a new tutorial. I hope you're good guys. Today I'm gonna show you how to make kind of FM chord style, uh, this kind of... This kind of sound. a little bit softer like this or even stuff a bit more derby like top tech top techno like this all right so one thing first before to start uh, important to put effect uh, right after your rack otherwise it's not really sounding good and second, it's really important to use, I mean, I really recommend to use Discord uh, MIDI effects from Alberton, which basically you can set different shift and can play in minor chord like this. It's really helpful if, like me, you suck at playing keyboards. And so it, like this, just have to play one note and it's playing the full minor chord. Another advantage of this is, so it's playing on this octave, but if you basically put plus 12, Oh, sorry, plus 12, plus 15, which is going to be the minor, and plus 19. All right, remember, minor chord is 0, plus 3, plus 7. So if you plus 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 12, plus 7 is plus 17. And it's going to help you to get, just make sure you have enough voice here, and it's going to help you to get a more richer sound more powerful sound because basically you are playing two chords at the same time so let's have a look so basically i use operator obviously for frequent fm stand for frequency modulation which is basically uh consists of oscillator modulating each other to each other and kind of creating this kind of metallic kind of sound uh, if you're not really familiar with Operator, I recommend you to go to check the YouTube channel Once Upon a Cent and there is a video about Operator. I'm going to put the link in the description. And there is a video where the guy explained really well how does it work. And if you're not really familiar, I really recommend you to go to check this. So the four upper macro are basically just for variation once, once you get your sound. So filter controlling the cutoff, filter envelope, the amount of the filter envelope. Attack is controlling the attack of your sound. So this macro basically is gonna control the attack of the filter envelope and the envelope of all the oscillators. And the GK is gonna control the GK sustained release of all the oscillator and the filter. Right, this is really, I do like this because like this is keep the thing simple, you know very short all right and then the lower part is where you're gonna shape your own kind of fm send code the first macro is wave which is controlling the waveform of the first oscillator a so you can this is sine Usually, frequent FM synthesis is with sine wave, but the cool thing with operator, you can basically choose any kind of waveform, so it's even give you more possibility, more different kind of sound. Then the other micro, OS B, OS C, and OS D are controlling the volume of all the other oscillator. So basically, FM synthesis is, I told you, 
oscillators modulating each other and how they're gonna modulate to each other it's determining by this little algorithm here you have different kind of algorithm and so basically it's working like this the sounds go from up to down so here the blue one oscillator c is gonna modulate the oscillator b which is the green one and then you have you're gonna have this oscillator b who's been modified by oscillator c who's gonna modify oscillator a and as well oscillator g is gonna modify oscillator, oscillator a and here you only gonna hear the oscillator a because it's the only one on the final here at the opposite right here here you're gonna hear if you choose this one you're gonna hear oscillator a and oscillator c and oscillator a is gonna be modulated by oscillator b and oscillator c is gonna be modulated by oscillator g so you can you can change different kind of algorithm to get, to get different kind of sound and then as well play with all the oscillator something you like you can change all right when you have something you like just save it make a copy of it save it because you can really I've lost a couple of presets because I was just tweaking, tweaking and forgetting to save the stuff. So remind when you have something. So just save it. And therefore two. And like this you don't lose your original preset and so when if if you want to even go further, you can even modify the course and define of its oscillator. get different kind of sound uh, you can add pitch envelope you can add LFO you can really go further change the algorithm as I say so yeah it's here you have like the basic to start with you can keep like this if you wanna just keep things simple but if you want to go a little bit further, you can really dig into it and really make your own and create really, really interesting kind of stuff. Okay, guys, I think we are done now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like it. Do not hesitate to like, comment and share. Thank you very much for your support and Happy New Year.